Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm back with another entry using the Revival Devotional Kit from By the Well for God. Uh, here's a look at the devotional. I'm working on day three. I'm kind of slowly going through it this month, but I will get through it. I'm going to do a quick entry today showing some stamp masking. I had mentioned in the unboxing video that I would show you how to mask off the car so that you could fit the little llama stamps in there, so we're going to do that today. And we are working in 1 John chapter 2, verse 16. And what I've done here is I've stamped the car out on some sticky notes. And these sticky notes have the entire back side of them are sticky. And then I just cut it out and created a stamp mask. And I did cut out the inside of the windshield as well. Um, and you'll see how that works in a minute here. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp the car down in my Bible using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And this ink does bleed through the page. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. And I have my paint tin underneath my Bible because 1 John's way at the back of the Bible and my Bible's getting full, so I needed to kind of lift it up and get a hard, flat area underneath that. But the back side of the page, I had actually gessoed so that I could use Crayola markers. And this shows you that just because the back side is gessoed does not mean that things on this side won't bleed through. So I could have either gessoed this side of the page also or used an ink that doesn't bleed through but i am going to do some water coloring so i wanted a, a permanent ink so it is whatever it bled through not a big deal so i'm going to go ahead and cover that stamping with that sticky note mask that i created and then i can lay these little llamas down over there and you can see their little booties are hanging out of the car we don't want that so i need to do some more masking so i'm just going to use a regular sticky note to kind of cover the outside area so what's going to happen when i stamp these it will be just their heads that will be inside the car and you'll see how that plays out here in a minute but um, while I'm doing that stamping and then I'll do some water coloring um, again we're working in 1st John 2 16 and the devotional for today says uh, craving the things of the world to the exclusion of God is selfish and self-centered it does not glorify God so as we live in the world we need to recognize what it is we see around us John points the way in 1st John 2 16 for all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. So eat. So she says, eat sparingly of the world. Do not seek it out. Ensure that whatever you are partaking of the world brings glory to God. And so we're talking about, you know, not being super focused and seeking out things that are worldly. And um, we should be seeking... God and so I'm just going to create a super simple little entry and prayer um, in my journaling Bible today for this entry and she does have some um, prompt questions that go with the rest of the devotionals so if you want to dig in a little bit deeper there are some more questions there. So moving on to the other little llama you can see I went ahead and masked off that area. I do want his scarf showing so um, I made sure to you know kind of strategically place that sticky note and it looks kind of like a hot mess right now but as soon as you take off the mask you can see what's underneath and you can save this mask if you didn't tear it like I did <laughs> and you can reuse it again I'm gonna go ahead and dry that and now I have little llamas in the car just like the graphic there and there's the bleed through it's not horrible I can live with it and there's really no rhyme or reason to using llamas in a car, except they're kind of fancy, kind of show off. Um, you know, they're living the life of worldly things with all of her sparkly jewels and their fancy car. And maybe that's where you can tie it in, but I just think they're cute. So uh, I'm going to fill them in using the Daniel Smith watercolor samples that come with the devotional kit. And these are little dollops of paint on this card and I'm just using a uh, aqua brush this one's from adorn it but you can use any water brush and using that to pick up the color from that swatch card and you can see I barely have to touch that paint to pick up color so that paint will last you know quite a while you can get quite a few entries out of the little bit of paint that's on that card and the great thing is the colors perfectly match the devotional kit so you'll see when i get done here that this image really looks very identical to that graphic that you can see off on that card as well as what's on the devotional and some other areas of the kit so super super cute if you haven't joined in and picked up this kit yet she is doing another run of the kit um 
be you can pre-order that second run of the kit now so head on over to buy the well for god and check that out i did bring in a little bit of yellow from my prima sets and then i'm just going to add a little bit of ground and some ink splatters and kept it simple i'm going to go in and spell out a title and uh, it's going to be seek jesus not the world and I love that her alpha stickers include tons of E's. So I've been able to do, um, this is my third entry using these alpha stickers and I still have plenty of alpha stickers left. So I'm running out of a few letters, but um, I still can kind of mix and match with other alphas like these ones from Illustrated Faith. So I'm just gonna fill that out. Being careful with these stickers when I pull them off the sheet. As long as I peel, peel them off slow, they come off fine. If you get too fast, I've noticed the tops kind of peel off from the backing. Um, so just be careful when you pull those off that backer sheet. I'm going to go through my tabs that came in the kit. And then there's that fabric tabby that came um, with the devotional kit. And that is it for the entry. I outlined the alpha stickers, wrote a little prayer, and that was it. Super simple. So uh, head on over to her shop. Check out the products that she has over there. Leave any questions or comments down below. I will check those. And give this video a thumbs up if it was inspiring. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.